A Nanaimo boy is lucky to be alive after plunging roughly 20 to 30 feet down an air intake vent at Dover Bay Secondary. The vent is normally locked up tight, but it wasn't this morning. The teen has a broken leg, but the crew that rescued him says it could have been much worse. CTV's Jessica Lepp reports. Frightening moments outside Dover Bay Secondary School in Nanaimo this morning as emergency crews work fast to rescue a boy who fell six meters or 20 feet down into a concrete air intake vent. He's very lucky. This was a, this was a, a pretty extensive fall and had he not landed probably feet first, uh, it could have been a totally different call for him. Classmates say the hatch for this grate was left wide open when the 13-year-old went down. He didn't know it was open, so he wasn't like paying attention. And out of nowhere, he, his foot fell and he just dropped. As the Nanaimo Ladysmith School District launches an investigation into the incident, the assistant superintendent confirms it was open but couldn't say why. Any idea why that was left that way? I have no information on that. Do we know was there a lock that was cut? N don't know that either. Parents and students were alarmed to hear about the fall that left the boy with what is believed to be a broken leg. I was having a heart attack because I have two sons, or grandsons that go to this school. I think that school needs to make better safety precautions about stuff like that because like that really shouldn't be happening. The district says the grate should have been locked shut and is only accessible by school facility staff. Does that lead us to think that maybe somebody irresponsibly left this open? No idea. School staff have since ensured the hatch is now properly closed and locked. The boy's rescue was a first for the Nanaimo Fire Department's technical rescue team. For that type of a lift, we basically will package him up, uh, put him in a Stokes basket, and then we'll just, we put our tripod above the hole and just lifted him straight up vertically. Once removed, the boy was loaded onto a stretcher and taken to hospital. It's supposed to be like a fun day, but it's kind of kind of went downhill. As students here start their summer break with grave concern for their injured friend, the district says it will get to the bottom of what led to today's fall. Jessica Lepp, CTV News, Nanaimo.